Hey GTI fans, welcome back to another episode of Empyrean Galactic Survival. This is your host Zlot, and we are here today on the Alpha 7.5 series. I think this is episode 10? 9? 11? 12? 13? 11, oh god, so I kind of think it's 10. 10, 10, 10 ish? Okay. Okay, so last episode we took the SV out and smashed some POIs. Um, kind of doing it the easy mode way on a couple of them. Uh, today. I'm going to show you what I've done is, oh, there is a turret on the top because I'm actually level 23, actually almost level 24, nice, okay, so I built a multi-tool turret, the multi-turret, and put it on the HV and went and multi-tooled down those POIs, which gave me a crap ton of plates, just uh, both hardened steel and steel plates. Enough to get all the iron and sathium that I needed into the CV, and all I needed to put was another, I don't know, 200 Neo or something into it, Not, and it was already at zero seconds, so I fired it up and it's ready to spawn. So I'm ready to spawn the CV and again, I haven't even went to space yet and I'm ready to spawn a CV. I don't know how I keep doing that. Um, <laughs> I, I, I don't know what to tell you. I, I don't know what to tell you. I just, I don't know. I don't know. This time around it was the the uh, golems, I went golem hunting and got a ton of Neo off them, so Neo wasn't an issue, and then all this, the hardened steel plates just filled up all the Sathium requirements, and boom, here we are, ready to spawn. It still needs all the gear, all it has is engines, the warp, and I think the RCSs, uh, and, and the hull basically so everything else has to be put in into it so but all I'm gonna do is take all that from my base right it, it's basically a starter CV that you take your starter base with you and outfit your CV with your starter base that's the concept anyway um, so I kind of want to make our way off this planet, make our way onto the next planet, and put a base down there. So I'm going to strip this base down to pretty much nothing. I'll probably just leave it as a shell. Um, a barren shell, maybe some minor minor functionality to it. I'll keep it sealed, I guess. But um, yeah, I don't really necessarily need to take all the blocks with me, right? So. Uh, today, what I want to do, let's go into a third person view here. Today, what I want to do is take the SV out and get some Pentaxid up on the moon. So we're going to take the SV up to the moon and I'm going to show you what I've done outside here. Let's jump inside here and we're going to collect, actually, you know what, maybe I should grab some food first. Let's just grab food really quick. Uh, have I finished all that? Yeah, okay, so I put that away. Let's go into the cook then, and we'll eat some salami since we're here. My theory on food is I eat the stuff that's going to spoil the soonest while I'm at base from the fridge, and then anything that I take with me, I want to take like the canned stuff, right? So I'll take these this 10 stack of canned vegetables with me that's that's gonna last us no problem 
I've got 1302 that's probably gonna be fine I got a ton of fuel uh, let's take a look at our ammo now I'm pretty good on bullets and missiles for now if I'm just going to get pentaxid we also need to make sure my drill is good yes and how many charges do I have 33 that's plenty okay so I wouldn't mind getting some more O2. We'll just stop by the uh, O2 on the way here. And you know what? I actually, here, let's. I'm just gonna jump out for a quick second. Um, can I get it from here? Yes. <laughs> nice. Let's. I think I built some, yes, I got some more missiles, so nice. Okay. That's what I thought. And when then we can just go into here and go fill all. Nice. So these are guided missiles now. I also... Oh, wait. What am I doing? Let's not leave yet. Yeah, this thing's, this thing's a little bit sluggish now because I updated it to hardened steel. Same with the HV. Um, actually, I'm going to jump out. That's fine. And what I wanted to do before we went and did that, I almost forgot, which I don't know why I would have forgot, but thank God I didn't. I built some upgraded thrusters and some more RCS's for this thing. Now that it's all hardened steel, it's a little bit sluggish. So what I want to do is I want to pop out these thrusters. I don't really want the thrusters. I don't necessarily have a use. Uh, I don't really have a factory, something in the factory going on yet right now. I guess I could now that I've got one I can I can go in and like select something different in my factory I guess so what I can do is I'll go into my blueprints and because it's completed now it's not using up any more of the resources and so what I can do is the next thing I want to probably spawn in is maybe my big CV Let's go for that. It takes up just a crap ton of resources, so you can see it's insane. Um, thousands of everything, pretty much. So let's send that to the factory. And we can see we had a bunch of leftover sathium and iron, silicone, copper, cobalt. Uh, so it needs a ton of everything else. It also needs steel growing plots, 36 of those. Uh, and the reason why I wanted to put that in my factory to receive it is because what we're going to do is we're going to put these directly into the factory. So let's just pop these out as full blocks. We're going to disassemble these. Oh yes, and I made a T2 uh, multi-tool. As you can see, it only takes a couple zaps now to pop those out. And you can see in behind there, I've got the other thrusters. So we're going to pop those out too. And you can see there was an empty space in between because this is the Econo version. These only had the, uh, the medium thrusters in them. The regular version has the full jet thruster, the, the first tier of the jet thrusters in them, which we're going to. So let's see. Can I get this without it zapping it? You know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use my, my drone because I can get at the angle that I want. So I don't want to nuke other blocks. I just want the thrusters. So we're going to take all these. And we're going to be replacing these all with the bigger ones, the slightly bigger in length. So 
but it used to fit the bigger one so we shouldn't be have a problem can I get that one from here yes is that all of them I don't think so I think I need to pop some of these out here so let's yeah just make it easier And is that it now? No, nope. still another one. Okay, so can I get up in there? No. Okay, let's replace this block after. There we go. And there we go. <clears throat> oh, at least I think so. Yeah. Okay, so that's just weapons there now. And there shouldn't be anything else in there. Um, now we're going to take the ones out of the back here. Okay, and well, I guess we can just, I guess I could have just went in through here, right? Derp a derp. Okay, look at that. Easy peasy. Man, my brain is not functioning. Here we go. Get these. Okay. So we'll just have to replace those blocks. Not not that big of a deal. Okay. So let's do the I guess the forward facing ones first. They were all in line up at the front there. So let's see if we can get these in there. The right way, we want it like this. And yes, that's the right direction. Okay, can we, is that all the way? That looks like it. Let's see, that looks good. And yes, is that correct? That looks good. Excellent. Okay, so that's the three on that side facing forward. Let's uh, put these ones in. Oops. Get it down. One, two, and three. Okay. So that's the frontward facing thrusters. Now we'll put in the um, the up and down thrusters. So we're going to have two up near the front facing down. Come on. Come on. Get get back there. All the way back. There. Oh, you're there. Oh, right there. Okay. And then one more. Excellent. Um, and then we'll get that in there too. One, two. Okay, and then we're going to have ones facing up. So, one, two. And one, two, and then we're going to have facing, actually we can just have the third one facing up too, that's fine. And then we'll put the last one, come on, get in there, come on, you there? Yep, yeah, okay. And then we'll flip this last one down again for our fifth and sixth one down to try and balance it out a, a bit there so that the heavy the, there's like two of them I'm trying to do it balance it as much as possible so there's two of them right about here right and then there's three that are and then there's one more so it, it should be fairly weight distributed 
most of most of the weight on the two up the front section okay so now yeah I know we're getting an attack not a big deal let's put the six at the back come on get in there Okay, and then we want the six in each side, so we'll spin this, and we'll tuck these in. Come on, you can get in there. Oh, I gotta get a little lower for it to see it. No, nope, come on, lower, lower. There we go. Two, three, four five and six okay and then this side we'll flip them around okay and one two three four five and six Okay, those are the thrusters back in. Uh, let's replace these blocks here. Steel block. That went up in there. And then these hardened steel. are just these blocks here yeah okay and then I'll have to texture that I can texture that later I'll have to texture it in the nose up too right now we'll, we'll we'll run a patch a patch bug bus uh, okay so that was the thrusters I also want to put in more RCS really two more what do we got here Can I see anything in here I don't know can I see anything down there I think I can get pretty deep into the wall of that and put RCS's into the wall, but do I really want to compromise? Well, I could probably put, you know what? Let's do a couple here. So we'll do, um, we'll zap this one out. And okay, so there's something right there. We can't do that one. Oh, this is the warp engine right there. Yeah. Okay, so I can't do that. Let's replace that. Now, is that a half one? That's a half one, okay. So let's, nope, not that. We want that one, right? Yes. Okay. Um, hmm. Where can I put these? What do I got in behind there? Those are two, just two steel. You know what? Okay. I'm going to do it then. So right here. <clears throat> right in there. And we're going to put this guy and then this guy okay and then we'll just put the hardened steel back in okay so that is done now we have an upgraded machine uh, it just needs the uh, texture tool and, and a 
and to be repainted in those couple spots and do I have that right here let's just do that really quick then let's just do that really quick so tools and yes here they are also I'm gonna show you guys here what I'm gonna do with these thrusters is from the just as blocks I'm just gonna throw this straight in here and they gave us a good amount of iron silicone and copper so that was nice and it shortened the uh, build time down from six hours and something to I don't know <laughs> I don't know what it was to tell you the truth okay um, let's take this thing out after I paint it and texture it so let's get the texturing back on really quick this one up at the top was uh, it's this page like that and there okay and then um, the back it was this one okay and that needs to get painted and then down over here does that match up yep okay so then we'll just paint this up really quick here. Oh, uh, actually, hang on. Let's get this one up in front here. Here, we'll just swap this out since they seem to be using them both. Uh, get that on here and there. Does that match up? Mm, no. Can I... Does that match up? No, I don't know if I can get it to match up. That's about the closest. Yeah. I mean, I'm just not going to get it to match up very well. Those weird angle pieces. Okay. Uh, okay, let's get this thing painted. So those pieces are all black. pretty easy except for the top piece I did not paint that that's just the uh, generic and come on right there and there and then right here and here okay so there we go back to the old bus well not really because it also has oh right we should uh, paint these there we go uh, yeah, we'll do that too. And that. Okay. There we go. There we go. So we got the guided missiles on here. We've got a bunch of them now. That should be good. And we've got a whole bunch of food. We... Uh, it doesn't matter that we have that on us. We're just going for Pataxid, really. If we happen to loot something else on the way, well, whatever. So be it. Let's grab some oxygen on the way. Ooh, this thing is really peppy now. <laughs> Straighten out a bit. Yeah, it's responsive now. Nice, okay. This is such a cramped area. I don't know why I built this. Anyway, I'm going to show you what I did over on the side here. So we expanded out and built a platform, nice radiation fog, built a hardened steel platform here to spawn the CV on. So we'll be able to uh, do that and uh, uh, get that ready to go. In the meantime, ooh, look at my power usage really cranked up there, didn't it? Where 
was that? Where where did it crank up? When I was, what was I doing? It was a 67, 67. I'm not really sure what my... Maybe if I'm shooting to... No? No, that doesn't make a difference. Okay. Okay, I don't seem to be going above 67. I saw it spike into the red there for a second. I just... I'm trying to duplicate that effect. It's... I'm just making sure I got the power it needs. Yeah, it seems fine. Okay. I like how this thing can basically just, you just tap the throttle and it just kind of hovers straight up and down. <laughs> Very easy to fly. Okay, so, yeah, nice. Let's get some oxygen. We can just, now, for those of you kind of new to the game, if you did not know this, when you, when you hit Alt, that gives you, that, that locks your avatar in place, it, it, does not move your camera around in a sense so it doesn't move your head around your avatar but it moves the camera in third person around so you can look at your avatar and look at the vehicles he's in and you can pan in and out so zoom in and out using your scroll wheel uh, you can also hotkey all that too so um, and then to land you just pivot over top and line yourself up right so now using your uh, wasad combo and then obviously C to, to uh, go down you can get really good landings in using your your alternate view let's call it by hitting alt uh, okay so let's jump out and we're just going to check on our uh, oxygen here. That's all we really care about right now. I can hear it. Woo, look at the temperature. It's just cooking out here. I think w what I want to do is get, get enough... I might have enough gear to build a couple of force field emitters, but I don't think enough yet. I'd like to, uh, I'd like to somehow encase this area in force fields where... It doesn't interfere at all with come flying. Oh, see, I went into the red there for a second, but it's not now. Okay, when I first took off. Interesting. Hmm. Okay. Whatever. Uh, so, yeah, now we've got... Let's just level off for a second here. Now we've got a ton of oxygen. Well, it's pretty much full anyway. Okay. Okay. So let's go. We've got lots of bullets and stuff. We've got food on us. Oh, that reminds me. I should put that in the fridge, right? Even though it's in cans, it's still... I'll eat one right now. Okay. So, let's go to the moon. Now, this thing can fly in every direction the same speed because it has uh, six thrusters in every direction. And I've tried to balance it fairly well, so... Okay. So... Let's, uh... We'll just stick with our mini guns for now. Um... Okay, the moon is way over there, so let's head over there. Keeping our eye open for any... What do we got? Let's look around. Okay, so there's the asteroid field there that looks like a freighter or something over there moving. So we probably want to avoid that for now. Although this thing right, at, right now, currently, could probably take it on. We could probably take on that freighter. 
I do not have my Eva boost on me. Ooh. Hmm. Hmm. I think I can still do this. We're just going to the moon. You know what? I don't plan on raiding any um, POIs on the moon right now. I'm just going for Pentaxid. And with this open box top style, I'll be able to do it. can even do it in space too. I can mine in space without an EVA. I just, you just take your, your jetpack, turn your jetpack off, level off, and then when you exit, you don't move at all. You're just locked inside your, your, um, your cockpit area, but it's all enclosed and sealed. So you're, you're safe, but the, you can open the shutter and have your drone go and mine for you. It's, it's just awesome. It works great. And it's just, it's easy on the moon too. You just do the quick little jump thing uh, to spawn the, just like on, because it, it's gravity on the moon, right? So just like on any planet, I can do my, just jump out of the box a little bit, enough to spawn the so, how much you want to bet we, we come down right on top of the drone base, right? Right? Because that's my MO, right? And, oh, yeah, is that the drone base? Probably. <laughs> Probably, right? Okay, <laughs> let's just back off and go over this way. <laughs> okay, here we go. Oh, fun times. Okay, what is that thing over there? might be the drone base. It looks like it has four turrets. So I know there's a whole bunch of different types of drone bases now. And oh, that looks like another very similar style. Okay, so maybe not. That's probably not a drone base. It's probably like a, one of the um, an armory or something like that. Or a defense base or something. Okay, Promethium, don't need that. We want Pentaxid, so we can shoot. Do you think we're far enough away? Oh yeah, we're far enough away from that one. And where's the other one here? Are we far enough away? Oh yeah. Okay, so... Now we could take on this drone and loot it, and it's easy enough to do. I don't really need my Eva. I can just come down and level off. And then pop out. You can see we're still fine. Get our drone going and whoops and loot them. So no problems. No problems. And we can just get right back in. Okay. So let's try and find some Pentaxid. a trajectory here. I don't want to go on an angle, so if I'm kind of in the equator right now, so let's just do the equator and we'll head due west. Iron. Who cares? Don't need it. I got about 20... Th oh! That looks like the crashed CV over there, and a cobalt deposit. Hmm, that might be worth going after. Let's kill this drone. There's another POI over there. 
cannon drone. Okay. And there's some pentactic crystals. Okay. Iron. What do we got? Radiating red. Is that actually from... Let's, uh, whoops. Didn't mean to do that. Let's jump out and loot this guy really quickly here. Nice, that's good stuff. Okay, so we can... Unfortunately, did I bring my Eva boost with me even? Because I'm a dumbass, right? I could have picked... I didn't even think about picking crystals. I was just wanting to look for pentaxid deposits. That's what I'm looking for. Okay, so pentaxid deposits. Silicone. So that's another shooty POI. Pentaxid, pentaxid, where's the pentaxid? Um, oh, I might be able to get that one. Maybe. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. What's that drone doing there? Let's get rid of him. Because that's just annoying. Now, can I... Ooh, I don't know. What I could do is I could take out the turrets on it's only 33 pentaxid well that's enough refined into 66 that's a couple of jumps for a CV right hmm what it could that's an interesting looking base over there too so this one I guess we're going to have to missile its turrets off, so let's do that. Whoa! Let's, uh... It has some wicked, wicked range. Currently, oh, so do I! Holy! Okay, right, because of the, uh... The gravity. derp a derp here I'm thinking, trying to get right in at 400 or so. It's okay. This thing can take it. Just... Oops, I missed. Oh, maybe not. A little too far. Okay. So, now that I've taken out its... turrets... See, there's another one there, too. Okay, are there any turrets over on that thing? I should look for... Let's look for sentry guns. Let's get down here and look for sentry guns. Looks like there's some there, right? Yeah. I don't know. Oh yeah, yeah, that is sentry guns. Yeah, that's definitely a sentry gun. Okay, so I think they're dead. Still got lots of missiles, good. 
power station. I'm Is this the typical design? Am I familiar with this? It's had four turrets. It's not it's not the typical design I'm used to. So this is uh the Xenu one or whatever, yeah. I think this is the one that's trapped up at the top. You fall down. It's kinda evil. Okay, so we should be okay. Let's see if there's any more. No more shooty guys. I don't want to get too close, actually. Don't need to spawn dudes, right? Okay. Okay, I think we're good. I think we're good. And we can always come back and. We can come back when we have a CV and, and bring. HV to uh, to actually go in and and infiltrate those things with and and loot them and then oh so that's the drone base okay good to know and it shoots <laughs> a lot <laughs> okay interesting I have not done a drone base that looks like that yet so hmm all these things are new to me but we didn't actually come here to attack the drone base as much as I kind of want to um, I don't have my EVA boost with me so there's no point I just want to see what sort of range it's gonna get from its turrets and if we can just get down low enough yeah I think we can nice okay so let's straighten out get it to touch. Nope. Come on. Is it not going to? It's going to be really loud if I can't get it to just touch. There we go. Come on. No, no, no. Just, just touch. Come on. Is it not going to do it? I... There's a little trick you can get it to just balance enough. Okay, maybe I gotta go down more. And then, there we go. No, come on, I was there. Power, oh, come on, come on. See how power left is getting into the 600s? Come on, come on. It's very loud and annoying, isn't it? Jeez. Okay. Let's let's just back off. At least the constant noise is better. Okay, that's that is annoying. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, I'm just gonna eat up power then. Screw it. Let's take a quick look around. So I'm even. I even have cover from the power station. So, yeah, we're good here. Let's dig this up. I'm just going to tab in and tab out just to get my radar back while I'm digging here, just so in case a drone does come into uh, range, I can uh, jump back in the cockpit and deal with it. So as you can see, oh, even although my uh, 
I could jump out right now if I wanted to. Because I can handle 53 degrees, which it is currently. Huh. Okay, so I will be able to actually walk around and pick stuff on the moon without an EVA. EVA boost. Okay. There we go. 33 pentaxa. One, one chunk of it. <laughs> okay. Uh... Okay, so that was that one. There was another one too, right? Didn't we didn't we discover another one right there too? Yeah. So there we go. We can go deal with that one because we've already taken out the power station's turrets. So let's just stay undercover here and we'll fly back over. Now there was a drone over here, so we're going to have to deal with him. Oh, a couple of drones, apparently. Okay, so let's do that. And, oh, I've got range. <coughs> okay. So, those guys are dead. We should loot them. And there is, wow, there's, <coughs> excuse me, there's a huge iron deposit there. But, we're not in need of iron at this point. And, oh, look at that, there is... There are weapons, turrets, on that crashed capital vessel. Huh. Whole bunch of, of thrusters, too. So this would be a good POI to come loot, to dig up and smash the core and loot and take all of its parts to uh, potentially build a, a CV if you're having problems getting a CV going. Anyway, let's um, loot these guys. Am I in between both of them enough? Hmm. Let's see. Can I can I get them both here? Let's see. Can only get about 50 meters with the drone before it starts flaking out on you. Okay. And nice. What is that? A, a plasma turret? That looks like a plasma turret. Huh. If you could pop that off. So you put your own core in after you destroy the core. Try not to destroy any parts getting in. Except for the, you know, occasional blocks, but who cares about those? Um, but stuff like this is worth... A oh! We've got incoming. We have replacement drones coming from the drone base. Okay. So let's deal with them down in the flats there. Just kill him there. Because the power station is neutered, so to speak, now. We can freely just come down here level off and get this guy okay but what I want to do is get the pentaxid over here so we can come back to the crash vessel potentially we'll see we'll see how where this... I, I don't really have a, a direction, so to speak, for this <laughs> series. Um, so maybe you guys can, can tell me a direction on, on on where I should... what I should do. Should I, like, build a base on every planet and have to defend it from at least one wave of, of drone attacks? not a bad idea, I guess. That would force me to go to every planet and set up a base. I'll, uh, uh, maybe, maybe, maybe not every planet or playfield, maybe just in every sector. Oh, what do we got? We got something coming in here? No. 
we have something coming in? Nope. Okay. So let's uh, let's do this. Let's get this pentaxid here. Just level off. Okay. Looks like another single nugget. Get my radar back. I don't like the fact that dead guys can show up on the radar as red. Should be just a white dot then. Maybe a white dot instead of a red dot, right? White to signify dead. Right? Or whatever color... Whatever color its name is at the time is maybe what the dot should be or the POI color. Just a thought. And that was it. Oh, and we've got incoming again. Okay, so... just coming to replace the one that I just shot again? I don't know if I really care at this point. Do I really care? Do I really care? I could get that pentaxid right there, although the, it looks like the drone base might be able to get me from there. Uh, let's just kill him for the XP and we can potentially loot him, right? And there's some more pentaxid right here, so yeah. Yeah, I should be able to. Let's try. Let's try this. Now, I don't know how many replacements the drone base is going to send, so we might have to do this quickly. It's 56 degrees. I can handle that in my armor currently. Let's, whoops. Get my weapons ready just in case. If a drone does come. And oh, put my jetpack on. Okay, here we go. And, oh, damn. I'm full. Okay, <laughs> so let's not run away too far. We'll just throw all this stuff in the constructor, all the uh, parts type stuff. Uh, we'll share that stuff to you. Why not for right now? Just whatever. Okay, so coffee at this point, is that going to help? It's probably going to put us over if we use coffee, right? But I don't care. If I need to, I need to. Can the drone base see me? I have a feeling he would paste me if he can see me with what, like one shot. So I'm a little sep I'm a little susceptible to uh, getting killed on the moon. That would really suck. I don't know where I would currently spawn. I guess somewhere close by. I could try the, uh, you know, spawn near your corpse thing. Okay, we're okay. And no, nothing on the radar yet. Is that going to overheat us? See, it didn't really overheat us, so I'm not really sure. It's like you drink one and you overheat, for, or you, your temperature goes up for a split second, then it comes right back down again really quick, so that's pretty cool. Okay. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Let's head back. See him at 30, 25, boom. So I could probably drink, just keep doing that perpetually almost. Whoa, 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 whoa. 
forgot. <laughs> Low gravity. Okay. So, there we go. We've got we got a pretty good score here. 10 plus the 6. So that's 76 refined. That'll be 100 and um, 52. So, nice. 152. That'll, uh, that'll fill up the tank a couple of times that should get us you know somewhere other than Omicron so I think I think what we've done is good enough to get us off the planet and into another solar system now I guess what I could do is I could refine it up and go visit a, a, a nearby system with the SV first. I mean, that's kind of what they want you to do in the game. It's just that I end up building a CV before I have to go to space. I don't know how that seems to happen, but I just do. Anyway. Um, so we could do that. I don't know. I didn't really bring a lot with me. I think on an extended voyage like that, I'd like to bring some more ammo and some more um, boosts and stuff like that. Maybe more food. I, you know, because right now, let's see, I'm going to have to eat some. I mean, I'm sure I'd be okay to hunt some food when I get there, but, but again... Um, I have no way of make, making ammo for the SV. And I don't think I need to do that at this point. I mean, I've got the factory ready to, to pop out the CV that I'm going to spawn. So I think we'll just go ahead with doing the CV right off the bat. <laughs> and going to somewhere that has better resources um pitch a tent there type thing instead get off the starter planet get onto a secondary planet and put a base there you know maybe uh, maybe put a base on Zahines that might be the, the plan I think that's what we're gonna do so let's head back I'm gonna just uh, I'm close enough so on a good distance you can actually take your break off auto break off and then just coast so I'm just coasting in the same direction. Da, 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 da. It's kind of cool. I like that. Look around. Just be coasting. Okay. Put my brake back on. And fly in. Um... am I? So I gotta look for a huge thing of water, right? Right? Is that, is that the, the lake? I think that is my lake. Okay, so let's let's go down above the lake even if it's not yep, it is. Okay. So I thought. So we'll head to back home here. And we'll spawn in the CV to end the episode. And then what I'll do off camera, I'll just... You guys don't need to see me move all the gear from the uh, base into the CV so um, that's what I'll do off camera so in the meantime let's just park here and I never got that repair pad working I don't know why it just refused to work Let's grab my 
food out of here. And we're going to grab the stuff out of the constructor. Because I didn't need all that oxygen, did I? <laughs> grab it here. Bullets, yeah. Can't grab that. Don't have enough space. So let's put a bottle in there for storage. And then um, grab that. That's it? Okay. So let's get out. And put jetpack on. So we are gonna spawn this thing. It's too bad it's night night time, but that's okay. I guess I could um no, let's let's just go with the the regular vision with there we go. Okay. So let's get this thing spawned. And spawn this in so oh, it'll let us spawn it way up there. That's good. So yeah, that'll give us room. Or actually here, we don't need to be way up there, do we? No. We can just be right there. That's good. Okay, so it's hard to see. Give you a quick... It's really hard to see. Sorry. Here, let's get the drone. The drone has lights on it at least. So, it's just basically a cigar tube, really with no windows so another windowless vehicle that I've built and this is just iron it's not or it's just steel blocks it's not uh, hardened steel so it's it's literally a tin can and it's only one layer thick so it's cheap 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 and then inside We have the cockpit and really nothing in here. So this would be, this will be where I'm going to put like the construct, couple of constructors uh, and some equipment, you know, the uh, fridge, food processor, stuff like that. Um, I can put more equipment up here too in these spots. And then up here is where the, where the warp drive is with the warp tank. So I'm going to put like generators here and fuel tanks up here. Some oxygen tanks will all go up in here. And then here, let's go into the hangar bay. So there's a, a decent size hangar. It has uh, a good size hangar bay door. It has a, uh, I think it's a 7x5. So you can get, um, you can get a decent size. I'll be able to get my vehicles inside there, no problem, and I can get my SV on top. So it's got a flat top. It's, it's basically real, it, really it's just engines, a sealed hull with doors, and RCS really is is all it is and the and the warp drive and, and um, warp tank and that's it so now I got to put you know generators in there the fuel tanks all the rest of the gear I can put uh, I'll probably put a bunch of cargo boxes in here I'm gonna have to put the ventilators in all that sort of stuff so what I'll do off camera is I'll deck this thing out with all the equipment from the base and get it ready to go and I'll so basically I'm going to strip the base down to, to just almost nothing I'll probably just leave you know the solar power up I'll leave the turrets up 
Um, I'll probably leave like one constructor, a little bit of a little bit of stuff. Um, yeah. So next one we will do that. We'll this thing will be ready to go, and we'll take it up into space. And I think we're we're gonna go visit skill on and maybe make a base there and get attacked by by that drone base <laughs> and see what sort of patrol vessel it has and and cause some shenanigans uh, we, we might come back to Omicron again uh, maybe to finish off like the quest lines and stuff like that if I decide to do that in this series I probably won't um, so Realistically, this series I just want to get off planet, build a base on a bunch of the other planets, and see what it's like getting attacked by the um, by some of the harder planets out there. We'll get some some base attacks going, and and we'll uh, we'll compare. We'll see which one's toughest, and which one's uh, the most profitable to uh, to live on. Um, so yeah, guys, here we go. I think that's our plan. Well, if you like this episode, should fire me off a like and subscribe to get the notifications when the next episode is. And make sure that your um, notifications are turned on, obviously, and you'll get notified. So, yeah, there we go. Well, the light's almost going to come up for you guys. Uh, but, yeah. We did it. We've got a CV up. Up. It's. Uh... Oh, good. My turrets can reach over top. I was going to say, oh, damn. Can they not reach over top? Yeah, they can. It's a tiny little CV, real realistically. But it'll fit. It'll fit the. Uh, it'll fit the improved hover box. And the uh, bug eye bus can park up top. We can put a couple of turrets on this thing. And we can actually. We've got enough hardened steel at this point to actually uh, give this thing hardened steel. Like, we'll upgrade this thing to hardened steel. Yeah. Yeah, we might as well. We can strip down the base to just, you know, well, I don't know. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll leave the pad here. We'll see. We'll see. Okay, guys. Until then, you guys have yourselves an awesome, awesome day.